What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fisherman Norby. Out here fishing a bridge today, kind of a little pump house that comes out into Lake Gunnersville. We're going after some crappie. You hear the cars driving by in the background. Super popular place to fish here on Lake Gunnersville. We're gonna try to catch them today. There's some other bank fishermen out here with me on both sides of me, but we're just gonna stay in our lane, cast towards this little pump house structure, see if we can get on some big slabs. I'm excited, it's springtime, best time to fish crappie. Let's go catch them. For my setup today, I got two Luz Ultralights. This one's got a slip bobber on it. That one's got a crappie jig on it. I had to bring my bass rod. Might have to cast around the bass jig a time or two. Then I got a bucket, put my fish in, got my tackle box in there, got my pliers, and got some minnows on the way here. I don't fish with live bait too much. Check that out. Stop by Gunnersville Tackle and Outdoors. Got some minnows and my camera gear. All right, we're gonna set up the minnow rig first. I got a slip bobber on it, and I actually have three different hooks on it. So we're gonna put three minnows on there. It's pretty deep here, so I'm gonna cast it out there. Let it sink down about eight to 10 foot. That should be where these crappie are sitting, so we'll find out. All right, guys, there we go. We got three minnows rigged up on here. I'm gonna toss it out next to this pump house. All right, guys, on this setup, I got a little Bobby Garland crappie jig, another split shot, 330, 132nd ounce, about a foot up the line. Cast out here and let it sink. All right, guys, just have one take. Just have one take. Oh, that's a good fighter right there. I don't know what I got. Oh, man. Oh, he's pulling drag. He ate it. He ate the minnows and the slip bobber. About to get caught by the rod here. I got, I'm caught, I'm caught with my other one. I got something good on. I think I, he got me tangled on my second rod, but it's a good one. It's fighting, whatever it is. It's probably a big old cat. That's funny. Oh, it's a bass. Check that out. That's a good largey. I'm tangled up with this one. Got like a four pound largemouth, guys. Oh my goodness. Come here, buddy. I gotta get this off. This is kind of bad. You yeah, I still got it. Man, I'm in a mess. I got me a mess. There we go. Look at that, guys. That'll work. That's a slab there. That's a big old bass. Slaunch. Look at that belly. Pre-spawn. Giant. On the minnow. On the minnow. He ate that big orange one on the bottom. Look at that. That's beautiful, guys. Man. Right here by this causeway. Let's see, buddy. There he goes. Whew. I got all sorts of messed up with that crappie jig. Man. Whew. What a fight. Four pound test. There you go. On the minnows. Still got one on here. He's still alive too. Let's get another one. Well, that was not the crappie we were after, but I do like catching bass, as you guys know. Here we go. Going back out. That was a fight. I got this slip bobber like 15 feet down. And I just saw that bobber go under. And I was like, oh man, that's a crappie. Nope. 
big old bass. All right, guys, so caught that big bass, but I was watching them catch a bunch of crappie out in their boats, and it just made me really want to go out in my boat. So we are towing the boat to a ramp. We're gonna go crappie fishing from the boat for a couple more hours, see what happens. It got pretty windy. Had to switch to my ball cap, but hopefully we get on some fish. We're gonna take the minnows out there, try to get on some giant crappie. There's some monsters here on Lake Gunnersville. So get excited. Let's go out in the boat, try to get a few. Shoot, we got one on guys. Oh, there we go. I was just about to cast out my other rod. We got something good on here, guys. Oh, let me get my net. All right, got my net. Let's see what we got. Hopefully it's a big slab. Oh my gosh, that's a giant, guys. A giant slab. That is what we're after. Come on. Oh my goodness sakes. Guys, this fish is huge. That is a Gunnersville slab now. Look at that slab, daddy. Woo. Big, fat, juicy crappie. That's what I'm talking about. Bit the bottom minnow, five feet deep. So, gonna put on another minnow, get back out there. We're gonna keep these guys. That's so cool. That's a giant fish is thick. Absolutely thick. Look at that, that's so cool. All right, get some water in my live well here. Woo! That's so awesome. All right, I was just about to cast out my flying a bubble when he bit so I gonna get back out there got my net ready all right put on a couple more minnows here there we go guys again I'm just putting the hook through both of their lips keeping them alive they stay super active let's get another I'm power pulled down here there's some stumps that was the second bite I got. So I'm going back out. I'm gonna drop down to them. Hopefully they're loaded right here. That'd be awesome. I saw something come up and bust is the reason I came over here. Um, sweet. Let's go. There we go guys, hooked up again. Moved a little shallower. Oh yeah. Please be another big crappie. Oh, it's a bass. Don't need the net on that one. Woo! Check that out. Got me a little bass. Thought it was gonna be another giant crappie. But we'll take the bass. We'll take the bass. See you, buddy. Took my minnow. All right, guys, got that massive slab from today. Probably 14 inch crappie. Super cool looking black crappie. We're gonna let him go in the pond. He's gonna grow to be bigger, have some babies, and be good genetics for this pond. See, buddy. Woo! That was awesome. There he goes. Splashed the whole screen, got my whole camera wet. It's all right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. There's kind of two different little ways to catch crappie, even though I didn't catch very many, so they're still not biting too well. I guess here on Gunnersville, they only bite really well the first hour and last hour of daylight, 
or at night. I kind of went out in the middle of the day, still caught that one, had a few bites, caught a couple bass. That was pretty fun. Probably should have brought that bass back, stocked the pond up, but oh well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want to see me chase some more crappie, go to some bridges, go fish shallow when they're spawning here in a month or two. But we'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby.